What's good legends? Welcome to my channel. You can call me Was, and in today's video, I will show you how to use Bangalore like a pro. Before I get into this video, I need all the Bangalore mains or all the want to be Bangalore mains to comment down below. This is a magazine. And while you down there, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this video. Sergeant First Class Anita Williams, 4013. Do you really care her background story? I mean, if you do, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll give you another video on her background story. But we're going to skip that and we're going to get right into her abilities. Like every legend, Bangalore has three abilities, a passive, a tactical, and a ultimate. Her passive is double time, sprint faster while taking fire. Now this passive is one of the best tacticals in the game in my opinion. It's great for disengaging in fight or trying to change positions. You can also strafe with this, making it harder for you to get hit. Now if you guys do not know what strafing is, strafing is going left and right because in Apex Legends it's all about learning how to shoot while moving and learning how to move to not get hit. That's, that is that simple. And if you can master those two, you'll be great. So I honestly think Bangalore and Octane do strafing the best in Apex Legends because of Octane Stem and Bangalore's passive double time. Bangalore Tactical is Smoke Launcher. Now I can go on days about Smoke Launcher, like how do you smoke, and I can literally probably ramble for 20 minutes about it, okay? But I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. A lot of people say smoke all the time. I think that's dumb. Smoke wisely, because your smoke can literally be a double-edged sword for you or your teammates. You know what I'm saying? So like a lot of people smoke themselves at the moment of getting shot and boom, now they don't know what, what the people really was at. They just smoked out of the scared. Like, you know, if you can get some behind some cover, cover and then try to look, then smoke them. Don't smoke yourself, smoke them. So they can't see you and you can change position. So by the time they get a chance to push you, you know, you might have to drop on them. Now you can also use smoke to pick up down enemies. You can use smoke to cover respawn beacons because most people, whenever they hear respawn go off in Apex Legends, most people are going. They they pushing that respawn. So a lot of people um, normally will smoke the respawn as well. So your man has enough time to jump down and try to get away. You also can smoke death crates so you can loot peacefully without anybody shooting at you from afar because a lot of people like to do poke damage in Apex Legends and by that they like to just shoot you with a sniper just to get their evil shields up. So yes, if you're gonna loot bins in a wide open area, you need to make sure you smoke yourself just in case like I said, everything is situational when it comes to using smoke. You don't want to smoke and then get seen by somebody, by another team. But at the same time, if you know teams are there and they're fighting or they're, or they're shooting at you and you're trying to get a shield off or a shield swap, smoke the death crate, shield swap, or smoke yourself and pop a bat. Your smoke is the best thing you have in your kit. So if you want to become a Bangalore main, learn when to use it. I cannot stress that enough. Your smoke is the best thing you have in your kit. So if you want to become a Bangalore main, learn when to use it and how to use it. Rolling Thunder. In my opinion, it's not one of the best ultimates in the game, but it can be used different ways. You can use it to push opposing teams off of high ground. You could even use it to zone. By that, I mean you can cut off a team trying to rotate or you can force them to rotate early and force them to rotate into another team. And then at that point, you can just come in the third party and clean up and take everybody loot. When you're getting chased by a team, you can smoke yourself and throw your ultimate in front of you so you um so how can i put it throw your ult in front of you so when the team chases you the ultimate could possibly hit them as they try to catch up to you or it'll slow them down and they won't push you anymore i say in front of you because bangalore ultimates take eight seconds to detonate so you'll be long gone by the time they actually do go off pro tip one make sure you have a digital threat so you can see within your smoke because a digi threat is great to have when you're a Bangalore because you can smoke and you can see your opposing enemy but they can't see you unless they have a digital threat. So anybody can get a digital threat so be mindful of that. Pro tip 2. Be mindful of Watson's ults because even if she's on your team it still will cancel out your smoke. Now I don't know why they have that but I found that out the hard way. So yeah, please make sure 
If Watson's on your team, do not shoot your smoke while you're around her ultimate because it will shoot it out the sky. If you down the enemy and then you don't have any shield cells or shield batteries, smoke them out and hit them with a finisher so you can regain your shields. Now that, I, I can't tell you how many times that tip right there has helped me in a gunfight. If you find a gold bag and have a Bangalore on your team, give it to her. Unless you have a lifeline or a Gibby, of course. But if you do not have a lifeline or a Gibby, give it to Bangalore. So this is how it should go. Gibby, Lifeline, Bangalore, okay? So if you have neither, hear me, listen to this clearly. If you run across a gold bag, be a team player. Give it to your Bangalore, give it to your Gibby, or give it to your Lifeline so they can pick you up faster. If you hear a Bloodhound Ultimate go off, do not smoke. I repeat, do not smoke because Bloodhound Ultimate counters your smoke. He can see straight through it. So if you hear... A Bloodhound Ultimate. I repeat, do not smoke, okay? That's crazy though because Bloodhound and Bangalore makes the great pushing duo. Because Bloodhound can hit his ultimate, Bangalore can smoke him out, and he can shoot them and they don't even know unless they got a digi threat. If you made it this far in the video, that means you're really enjoying the content and that means a lot to me. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button to drop the like, do so right now and comment down below your pro tips if you have any. Compared to other legends, Bangalore, in my opinion, is a B-tier legend. She isn't overpowered, but she isn't trash or useless like another legend I know. Like, if you think she needs a buff, what do you think it would be? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be excited to see. Like, I've read on Reddit somewhere, somebody was like, I think Bangalore should be able to see through her smoke. No, that'll be overpowered. No. And then, honestly, that defeats the purpose of a digital threat. So I don't think that should be it, but whatever you guys say, I'm interested and I'll be in the comment section reading. But I do think Bangalore is a difficult legend to play with. Like it will take time. So don't be discouraged. Like just stick with it. You know, Bangalore isn't my main legend and it took me time to get this footage and it took me time to understand how her kit worked so I can get it. You know what I'm saying? So take these tips that I've given you in this video and apply them. Apply them to your game. Get out there on the frontier kill it and become the champion of the arena if you guys made it this far to the video i want to say thank you so much it means a lot to me if you guys enjoyed the content drop a like subscribe to the channel and let me know who you want me to do next down in the comment section below do not go anywhere though do not just leave just yet please watch the montage i got a crazy boxing match that was epic that you guys are gonna love so make sure you guys stay for that and i'll see you guys in the next video peace